All right, here's the scenario. You go to roll call training. Sergeant says, hey, here, I got an arrest warrant. You got to go out and serve. Roll call's at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, right? You're on a swing shift. Here's this warrant. You got to go out to this house. This person's wanted for a felony offense, a crime in the state of New Jersey. And you and your partner go there. You knock on the door, and the person comes out of the top window and does this to you. What do you do? You got this warrant in your hand. Who says go in? Okay, why do you say that? Well, there's a U.S. Supreme Court case that says you're allowed to. Peyton v. New York. Let's read it. Peyton v. New York was a U.S. Supreme Court case concerning warrantless arrest into private home in order to make a felony arrest. The court struck down a New York state statute providing for such warrantless entries because the Fourth Amendment draws a firm light the entrance to the house. Absent exigent circumstances, that threshold may not be reasonably crossed without a warrant. The court, however, did specify that an arrest warrant, as opposed to a search warrant, would have sufficed for entry into the suspect's residence if there had been reason to believe the suspect was in, within the home. So it's her residence, it's his residence, they live there. You go there, she comes out and says, it's a felony warrant. Can you make entry into the home? And the answer is yes, you can. What kind of entry? Forced entry. You can force your way through the house. What do you do once you get into the house? Retrieve the person and then exit. This is not a search warrant for a house. This is a warrant to arrest somebody within the confines of their home.